So here today at uh, Laurel Hill State Park <laughs> and I'm at an old foundation of an old building and uh, this is old growth hemlock when you think about places like Wolf's Rocks, Lynn Run, different places where they forested 100 to 150 years ago this is what you would have had totally different type of forest than you see now um, these old hemlock trees and this old growth hemlock they didn't get to it because it's such a steep ravine here and this is kind of what it would have looked like except the trees would have been on this ravine they don't get real big so it really wasn't much of a harvest for them for us today they look big you got to figure in that day and age you're talking trees that were anywhere from five to eight foot across sometimes ten feet and this is one of the old buildings right here when I say steep is what I mean pretty much straight off the whole way down down to the stream so like I've said you don't get the the growth that you would because of the steepness but you get to see some old growth hemlock you see how dark it was in the woods back at that time just how huge and majestic these trees really are and uh, I'll do some walking through here and seeing some of this rare virgin tree uh, forest Normally you'd never be able to have the privilege of getting to see how you follow these trails. You can see the blaze there. I think you get lost. It's very simple. Just follow the blaze. You're there. Some of these old trees are just massive. It's a very beautiful area. So quiet. It's like a cathedral in here. And it's relatively what this area would have been like. I'll give you an example if I can catch up to my brother here and I won't <laughs> he always walks ahead and, uh, I see how big these trees are compared to him massive trees hundreds of feet high There's a big old hemlock. It gives you an idea just how massive this tree is. Old growth. Probably a good 400 years at least. At least 400 years. There's PJ standing next to it. That's how tall it is. <laughs> they used to get a lot of lumber off these trees and that's why they cut them down, sadly. There's nothing like the Laurel Highlands 
in the fall. Look at this stream bed. When I came up here, I heard that back in the 1800s, there used to be a mill here. And they make wheat. And I found it. This little stream here, which is just beautiful with fresh water. Leaves on it. Breaks down into this massive old lake. The beautiful waterfall. I can hop up on it. Oh. You get a better look. And the water is just so deep. Oh. Blue. The lake loops up around there. Just a gorgeous area. I'm impressed. 